Hello there cameras, in today's video we'll explain everything about the ELSE Ring. Follow the chapters of the video if you're looking for something specific. To open the ELSE location is you need to go to the ELSE gate which can be opened once you reach level 18 in your district. Inside you can open the gates and access to the ELSE locations. There are also some daily tasks related to the ELSE zones which can help you to get some good rewards. There are three main locations, Alfar's Camp, Ship Graveyard and the Great Tree. You can open new Alfheim later. The Alfar's Camp is a PvP location that you can do it solo or with your family. Inside you will find many new resources which can help you to make new tables and level 5 walls. But be careful from the Alfars. The Ship Graveyard is a PvP location which open every 1 hour and a half. You can enter it only solo and inside you will find many good resources but be careful from the players and the mobs. The Great Tree allows you to go through different challenges and get many good rewards and you need to go there to open the new Alpine. You can find a guide about each one of those in the description. Inside the Great Tree you will meet Steward of Rewards. You will go through different trials each give different type of badges that you can trade them for good rewards. In order to go through trials you need 3 types of medallion, medallion of power, valor and honor. Trials of power give badges of power, trials of valor give badges of valor, trials of honor give badges of honor. Each can be exchanged for different types of items. We need the medallions to start the trials, you can get the medallion of power from the yellow zones chests. The medallion of valor are two parts, base and decoration. The base one can be found from red zones chest, but the decoration can be obtained from steward of awards by buying two badges of power. Once having both, merge them in the statue to get the full medallion. Medallion of honor are also two parts. Base one can be found from elf's land such as Elfar's camp. The decoration can be obtained with badges of valor. Once having both, merge them in the statue to get the full medallion. Once you have medallion from each type, you can go through the test to open the new alpine. The test is quite hard so you need good gears. You will go through 4 waves in the test, from level 1 to level 3 class enemies. At the end you will find the 3 guardian which is a droid with 2000 HP. You can find a guide about this in the description. After defeating the guardian you can go to new alpha. New alpha will allow you to open level 5 class and get new items. Finish talking to all the NPCs. In the middle you can find the altar of fryer. You can use it to donate to open level 5 classes. The level 5 class need from 20 to 13,000 points. There is only 3 classes for them, but there will be more in the future. Each level 5 class needs special offering items that can be crafted from the server table by special resources. You can also buy a gift to Friar which gives points for level 5 class donation. To make the offering items you need new resources which can be obtained after lighting the statues with eternal fire or eternal light. There is 3 statues, one in army camp for healer class, one in giants camp for ice maid class, and one in the great tree for berserk class. The servant elf will give you an eternal fire for free every day. You can also buy an eternal light with coins. What's the difference? The eternal fire can only be obtained once every day. The eternal light don't have a buy limit and it lasts more than the eternal fire. The statue in the army can allow you to get dry herbs from a red forest location while farming herbs and berries. These herbs allow you to make a bag of dry herbs which you can donate for healer class. The statue in the giant camp allow you to get moonstone crystal while killing enemies in the Ottenheim lands. You also need primordial fire which you can get sometimes from killing the fire guardian or the boss of the ash tomb. After getting all the items you can then craft the frozen fire which you can donate it for the ice mage class. The statue in the great tree allow you to get whetstone when farming the resources from clay or meteorite in elves lands. Whetstone will help you to craft ritual knife which you can donate for berser class. Each offering item give you around 2000 points. On the right side of the town you can find the smelt master which allow you to smelt weapons and armors you don't need for new ones. Putting more items means a better orb, a better orb means more items and the chance to get alloys. Alloys can be traded for many good items including even gears. There is also 3 types of alloys depending on the orb rarity. You can also buy different types of alloys with coins. On the left side you can find the source keeper which asks you for resources for building the town again, but it's not added yet in the game. And that's all, if there is something new or something changed, you can find it in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.